Hi, my name's Mark Brown, and this is my journey deeper into God's Word. And I'm here, I'm reading from Psalm 139, beginning at verse 13. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was wo woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God! They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Amen. What a great passage. Well, here I am reading it on a new device. You may notice if you watched a few of my videos, you'll see that there's something a little bit different. I've just got it. And uh, let me just uh, bring it up the screen there. So yeah, I've got myself an iPhone. Um, and you know, when I got it, I had an iPhone a while ago in a previous job I did, and I've had a long break, but you know, getting it back and playing with it just reminds me of how incredible it is. And this is not an endorsement for uh, uh, Apple. Uh, any smartphone is incredible. Um, so this is not a, a, an iPhone plug. But when I, you know, when I play with it, I realize how incredible, and things that we take for granted, that I can take video on there, so I can take photos, I can surf the net. It's a whole raft of things I can do in this tiny, little, weeny thing. I can make phone calls even. Yeah, there you go. It even makes phone calls. All of this thing in this tiny thing that can fit in my pocket and I can take anywhere and I can be connected in so many ways. It is marvelous. But you know what? It is absolutely nothing compared compared to you and to me. <laughs> it is nothing compared to you and me. God has it says in this wonderful passage in Psalm 139, God, his workmanship is marvelous. It's absolutely marvelous. This is great, but this isn't even a microscopic comparison to you. You are marvelously created. I am marvelously created. Now let that sink in a bit. Because when you're struggling, when you're feeling like things are hard, or you're not sure where to go or what to do, how easily we can forget that we're not alone. I don't mean alone as in you've got someone just walking alongside you. Of course, that is incredibly important that we know God is with us all the time. But not alone in that God created us. He created us. He has a plan for us. An incredible plan. You saw me before I was born, verse 16 says. <coughs> Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are that your thoughts about me, O oh God. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. And you know what? When you wake up, when you wake up, Psalm 139 says, God is still with you. <laughs> Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, God is with you. He has a plan. He has your days mapped out. So you want to know, how, how do I make my decisions? What do I do? I've got big choices. How do I respond? I get a number of messages, emails through a range of channels, and a large number of them will ask that question. What does God want me to do? It's my question. As I sit here today, thinking about what God wants for the future, I have some options. I have some wonderful offers of ministry. I have some wonderful things that I can get involved in. But you know what? What does God want me to do? What does God want me to do? You see, God wants you and I, His marvelous creation, wonderfully made, wonderfully made, as Psalm 39, 139 says. He wants you and I to become all that He created us to be. He doesn't want me 
to be like anyone else in the world. He didn't create me to be like someone else. He created Mark Brown to be the best Mark Brown I can be. And he created you. You to become the best that God wants you to be. And we have to access. I have to access. I have to get into this word way more often. I need to be praying more. I need to be seeking God's will. I need to be facing my sin and embracing the power that comes in the cross so that I draw closer to God. And as I draw closer to God, I discover more and more of what God wants of me in my life. And it may not be what I think. It may be that I've got great ambitions for whatever. And in fact, God wants me to do just this tiny little thing for this one person. Or it may be that God wants you to step out of a comfort zone. Step out of a comfortable place and do something risky. And step out prepared to be involved in something you've never done before. But remember, if you're doing God's will, He's not just going to leave you stranded. He's going to be there to guide you. I've had the pleasure of traveling around the world. And I've stayed at some incredible places and once I had a meeting in Kathmandu in Nepal. And a friend of mine who's in ministry heads up a, a ministry there in Nepal. Uh, he came and picked me up at the place I was staying. And he said, Mark, he's a local. He said, I want to show you around the, uh, Kathmandu a little bit. And we walked out and he had a little moped. And, uh, and no helmet. And he said, hop on the back. And I'm like, yeah. He said, don't worry about it. It's fine here. I said, it may be fine here, but I'm worried about my head. He said, just get on the back. Trust me. Okay. So I get on the back and it ranks. It ranks as one of my finest experiences in traveling. Because as he zipped through the traffic, yelling over his shoulder, kind of uh, instructions of where we were going and what we were doing. And as he would pull over into a place I obviously never knew and had never experienced, and told me the story of how God was working in a very difficult environment in Paul. I realized, I realized how important it is to have someone who knows what they're doing in Nepal, who can drive a moped through the, the absolutely crazy traffic that I thought I was going to die at any moment, who knew where to take me, to touch me and inspire me and give me an experience of cat man do. Well, in the same way, God is inviting you to get on the back of his moped. God is inviting you to become part of his, his transport, his direction, where he's traveling. God is inviting you and me to trust in him. And he won't let you down because he created you for great things. And wherever I go, I'm a pro-technology guy, as I'm sure you realize. What I love about this is uh, a good mate of mine, uh, Bobby Grunwell. Uh, he works for uh, an incredible church called LifeChurch.tv. And I've known him for a few years. But recently we really got uh, talking about a uh, vision for this world. And he shared with me one of the products that he's, uh, he's developed, his team has developed at LifeChurch called Version. And that's what I've been reading from today. Wherever I go, wherever I go, I've got U version on my phone. Now this is um, this is a Bible. Uh, it's many translations. You can have. I mean, there's just so many translations to choose from. I can search the text. I can use a reading plan. There's a whole raft of reading plans there that I can choose from, and I'm going to get into one of those. I'm going to choose one of those reading plans to get into, and I'm going to start to contribute and get involved. And wherever I am. <laughs> I've got this technology that can connect me. And if you want to get more into God's Word, then I want to encourage you to get alongside the vision of Bobby and his team and uh, get yourself U version on your iPhone or if you've got a, uh, a whole range of Android, Blackberry, just uh, go uversion.com or Google U version uh, and check it out and download it. Absolutely amazing. Well, God bless you. And please don't ever forget. You are a wonderful and awesome creation of God.